dangerous dam that was breached in Hurricane Matthew will no longer threaten the safety of a neighborhood. The state has ordered the water drained from Surf Lake, and those efforts, they are now underway. Our Steve Sprager joins us live from Moore County with a look. Steve? Well, Sean, we're standing on the back side of the lake right now, a lake that was created by the dam. The dam itself, you can't see. It's inaccessible because it is on private property. But state officials tell us the lake has pretty much been drained now, and its owners are about to submit a plan to create a temporary breach, or if you will, a temporary hole in that dam, so the water will not collect behind that dam anymore. This drone video, courtesy of Mike Dixon, shows massive industrial pumps which worked round the clock to drain the lake. Tonight, the state DEQ tells me there's less than three feet of water left in the lake after Matthew, the dam which held back the lake, was compromised, forcing evacuations of nearby families. I was on Sunday morning, we had grandkids and you know, hearing a big, um, heavy knock at the door and you're not. You know, and you open the door and they tell you you got to go. This was the hole in the dam which caused the concern. Now DEQ says the engineering firm hired by the owners has just about completed a preliminary design for a temporary breach in the dam. DEQ says that plan must be submitted by Friday and by November 4th the plan must be finalized. County Commissioner Nick Moore told me, from a public safety standpoint, they feel good now about the water level in the lake. But folks like the Martin family won't feel good about Wood Lake Dam until there's a permanent solution. Fix it. Fix it, because when it breaks and lives are lost, I'm sorry it's not going to get it for those families that lose loved ones. Uh, DEQ tells us that that temporary breach in the dam could be there a year or more until the owners come up with a plan to either fix that dam or find a way to put a permanent breach in it. That's the two options that they do have. In the meantime, the problems with Wood Lake are not unique. There are lots of high hazard dams around the state, hundreds of them. And coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll tell you more about that. For now, reporting live, I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS, North Carolina. Mm.